Hello and welcome to the next video in the series. In this video, we will talk about the components of the Housey Flutter app project itself. We will break down the key parts of the project to help you understand how everything is organized and what you need to configure. Let's start with the Flutter project itself. This is a standard Flutter project and it includes the standard Flutter project files. When we expand the lib folder here, we have main.dart and hooksv2.dart and hooks.dart. This hooks.dart file we no longer use, but it is there for historical reasons. The main.dart file is where everything starts. This file is responsible for the launching of the app and connecting it to the housey package. If you want to customize the initial app flow or display onboarding pages, this is the file you will need to modify. The other file is hooks v2.dart. This file contains hooks that allow you to customize various design elements, layouts and option to your preferences. You will find a full list of customizable options in the housey documentation. Next is the housey package. This is heart of the housey app project and contains all the features and functionalities. It is separated from main flutter project and when upgrading to a newer version of Housey, you will just need to replace this folder here. There is no need to configure the project from scratch every time. And this is standard Android native project. It is created as a standard part of Flutter project and you will need to configure a few things one time only. App icon, app name, package identifier, Firebase setup, key store for signing, and few more things. Most of these configuration are done once and you won't need to touch them again once updating the housey package. Similarly, the iOS native project is also part of standard Flutter project. Just like Android project, you will need to configure app icon, app name, package identifier, Firebase setup, and the signing keys or the signing profiles from Apple developer account. Again, this is a one-time setup and updating the housey package won't usually require changes here. We also have assets directory here. This directory contains important files like configuration, localization, settings, icon, and fonts. This directory is where you will store the visual elements of your app. Just like the native projects, you won't typically need to modify this directory when upgrading the housey package. This configuration file is the most important file. This file is critical because it contains the branding, layouts, business details, and customization option for your app. Here you will define your website address, menu, structure, search filters, home and listing detail layouts, and many other customization options. You only need to edit it if you want to update the app's branding, layout, or customizations. This configuration file can be edited using Housey Builder, which is a desktop app to set up your app's branding, layouts, menus, and a couple of other configurations. Once you export the configuration from Housey Builder and paste here in this file and remove existing and install as new app, it will reflect the latest configurations. To summarize, we have a standard Flutter project here and it contains the standard main.dart file that initiates the housey app sequences. We have housey package here, the core app functionality. And we have Android project here and iOS project here. Both of these are part of standard Flutter project. And we have assets directory here that contains visual elements like icons and fonts. And we have configuration file here that deals with branding and layout options for your app. With this understanding, you will be able to maintain and upgrade your housey app with ease. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check the documentation for more details on customization options.